Nestled between the gastronomic capital of Lyon and the prestigious Burgundy wines lies an area that is often overlooked, but is definitely meriting of a detour. There are rolling hills and picturesque villages, and of course, vines. Bienvenue en Beaujolais. If wines have a personality, then the Beaujolais is fun, festive, and joyful. And people say that the people who work here have the exact same attributes. I'm anxious to discover the world of Georges de Boeuf and Le Beaujolais. On y va? It's a beautiful day here in Beaujolais, and we are so lucky to have Romain Teto joining us from Georges de Boeuf. Hello, Tracy. How are you? Great. Thank you so much for letting us come and discover your world. <laughs> no, welcome to Beaujolais. Uh, we're very happy to have you here. It's, uh, as you say, it's a perfect day. We couldn't have, couldn't have hoped for a, a better weather today. The Beaujolais is a little bit less known to Americans. Can you explain a little bit? It's, it's, a, it's a confidential small wine region. We are at the southern part of Burgundy. The region itself is not so big. It's about 30 miles north to south and 10 miles wide. You could compare it to Napa Valley. Oh, okay. It's approximately the same size. Uh, you can divide it into three tiers. Beaujolais in the south, that's where Beaujolais Nouveau comes from. Then Beaujolais Village in the center. And in the northern part where we are today, closer to Burgundy, we are in the Cru Beaujolais area. With the same grape, we make two totally different wines. Okay, so it's really necessary to try them both. Exactly. Start, <laughs> start with Beaujolais Nouveau okay. and maybe uh, continue on the Beaujolais Village and then the Cru of Beaujolais. Tell us a little bit about the release and the excitement of the Beaujolais Nouveau. Beaujolais Nouveau, <gasps> you can see here. Sneak peek at the bottle. <laughs> Beaujolais Nouveau is the first wine of the harvest. It's harvested in September and you drink it in November, on the third Thursday of November, all over the world. It's a seasonal wine. And in France, it's a tradition that when you're a winemaker, most of the wine, you have to wait a few months before you bottle them. But, you know, we want to taste, have a little <laughs> taste of what is going, the vintage is going to taste like. So we bottle a part of the wine and we, we drink it right away. We call it Nouveau, new. And that's what Nouveau is. So first, it was a tradition here among the winemakers to drink the new wine, but we decided to share good things with the rest of the world. And for Americans, we have the added advantage of having Thanksgiving the following week. And I'm told that Beaujolais is the perfect wine to go with your turkey dinner. That's perfect. Yes. That's because you have, it's fresh, fruity, flavorful, and it's great with the, for example, the cranberry sauce, the, 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 the turkey, all the, the plates, but most of the most important is that it's great to share with family and friends. And that's what all Beaujolais is all about. It's family and friends. And for us, and I remember Georges saying that, there is no bigger honor than to be at the family table on Thanksgiving. Mm. We think it's the, the best thing you can do for to Beaujolais and uh, to Georges Duboeuf. I love that. It is the most perfect weather here today in Beaujolais and uh, we are taking advantage because here um, Georges de Boeuf has created kind of a Disneyland for adults. Uh, here we see there's a mini golf and each hole is, is one of the uh, crew of the Beaujolais. So here we have Saint Amour and I'm going to try my hand. I admit that it's my husband, the golfer in the family, not me, but I'm going to try my luck here because it's just a beautiful day here in Beaujolais. And uh, we feel in this town, it's very much an invitation to play and interact and have fun. So here we go.
very excited that Christelle has taken the time. Um, she is the booking director here in Le Hameau and she is taking the time to give us a private visit uh, before all of the groups arrive. Merci beaucoup, Christelle. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to welcome you today. Um, and it's just lovely what you've created here. Um, tell us a little bit about the ambiance and the mission of Georges Duboeuf. Um, Georges Duboeuf created the Hameau Duboeuf in 1993. And uh, um, the uh, main, the motto for him uh, was humanity, you know. Mm -hmm. Il a voulu avant tout uh, que uh, recréer uh, une, une histoire, uh, recréer un, un monde dans lequel en fait chacun puisse se retrouver et un monde vraiment humain um, où chaque, uh, chaque visiteur uh, puisse ressentir justement que le Beaujolais est avant tout un vin d'amitié, un vin de partage. And just like that, our time in Beaujolais has come to an end, although I am planning my return. The theme of this week has been overall that while wine is important, humanity comes first. The goal of the residents here is de passer de bon moment. They want everyone to have a great time. So while I learned a lot, I had a lot of fun doing it. I've been blown away by the breathtaking landscapes, the tranquil villages, and the amazing restaurants serving up local specialties would have to say that the number one asset, however, is the kind, welcoming people. So pack your bags and plan your next voyage. The people of Beaujolais are ready to welcome you. A bientôt.